Hey, I did it! And I only got hit once after using that aid spray. Nice. That's pretty good for me. I usually have to use the aid spray and then get down into the yellow. Or I end up dying. So yeah. Today's been a good day. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's go check out in here, shall we? I think there is... Is there, isn't there a note over here? Yes, there is. Alright, Operation Report. The Rackin Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as, t as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments, armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to sc scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has ma made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition ca catches. Yes, okay, sure. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered mu munitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains to the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the key, the card key, not key card, but a card key, used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been, been, been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the, electri the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder, David Ford. Oh god, how much more is, is there? Nah, I don't feel like it. Sorry guys, just no. But there's going to be a lot more shit for me to read later on. Have fun watching me on this Let's Play. Okay, nope, nothing there. There's something back here. I mean, I'm a good reader. It's just reading shit out loud, fastly. It's just kind of difficult sometimes. Whenever an unexpected word I don't exactly know how to say pops up. It's just like, wait, what? What? Hmm? Really? Okay, sure. But I digress. Let's get out of this room, shall we? There's nothing. There's something that we have to do in there later on, but we don't have the weapon, or not the weapon, the item to use in there yet. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I have a new page on my, um, on Facebook. Oh shit! Let's try to kill this one first. Back up. Oh fuck. Keep moving. So anyways, yeah. Go to facebook.com slash face and it'll take you to my Facebook page. Reload. This is fun. I'm having a good time. Oh shit, that one's not dead. Now you're dead. How much ammo did I waste? Eh, could be worse. At least I got some herbs. Um, I think I'll mix two of them and save one because there'll be a red herb coming up later. All right, move forward. Isn't there something in here? There's some handgun bullets. I was expecting a first aid spray though. Guess not. All right. Um, I'm not gonna be using the knife. 
Let's just let's just forget about that. Let's combine that bitch. And let's put this other herb in there. Son of a bitch. There we go, just go down one, that's all you need to do. Alright, so what's up with these lockers? These are locked, right? You can only get the key from the... The zombified stars guy that's outside of the building. But he only appears when you do a certain thing. Isn't it whenever you get to the building without getting hurt once? I think that's something. I don't know. I don't know. I never really cared too much about that. I mean, you do get a special um, handgun for Claire and different costumes for them. But, eh, doesn't really matter. Whenever I was younger, I would love to um, play games over and over again just trying to figure out new things about it. Because I, I used to think that the, like, how far games can go was endless. But now I know it's, it's just, you know, you play it once, you pretty much experience the entire package. But if there is something really interesting that I want to check out a second time through, then I definitely will. I mean, I've played Dark Souls many times through. You know, certain games, it's fun to play a few more times. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Get up these stairs. I'm about to get the bow gun, right? No, 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 no. We're about to get the. Yeah, we get, we're about to get the grenade launcher. I think I remember we get it pretty early, and then we get the bow gun by uh, going outside somewhere to this little, little, this little building. So yeah, we can do that here in a bit. For now, let's just push some stuff. Can I get? Can I, there we go. There you go. Good job, Claire. Should I just use the fucking directional button instead of the analog stick? Let's try that. Seems like it'll be easier. There we go. Push it the other way now. Alright, one down. Good job, everybody. Teamwork. Come on, there we go. Line that shit up perfectly. Almost there. You've almost got it, Claire. Good job. Keep it up. Oh my god, we're almost done. We're almost done. Come on, come on, you can do this. One now, just push it a little bit more. There we go. Good job, Claire. Stop fucking camera angles. Alright, we got the red jewel. Now we're 50% done with a certain thing later. Gotta get another red jewel. I was gonna call it a puzzle, but it's not really a puzzle, is it? All you gotta do is put the two jewels in a certain place. Alright. Grenade launcher, right? <sighs> Fuck yeah. Alright now. Isn't there a first aid? Now, now the first aid spray is in Resident Evil 3 right there, right? I believe so. After I play this one, I do think I will play Resident Evil 3 as well. And for God's sakes, my channel is Resident Evil Faced and I only have like two games on it one of them in fact I have not beaten yet and I have one part to Resident Evil director's cut that I never really followed up on okay I'm just kind of skipping through this I don't really want to read it so here it's Chris's diary pause if you want all right then that was fun hey look got a key item and I think there's some handgun ammo over here somewhere all 
There it is. Alright, we're collecting a good amount of ammo. That's all there is, right? Yeah. Okay, then. Hooray! More stuff to read. Might as well. Okay. Federal Police Department Internal Investigations Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. 1. Regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Incorporated, so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the... Bleh. Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons have allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape okay, on two separate counts during his years as, an, as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released to the circumstantial evidence, as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. Yeah, I never actually read that through before whenever I ever played this, so yeah, that's interesting information. We're about to see Sherry, aren't we? When's that happening? Oh yeah, we don't have the key to that. We have to wait a little bit. The fuck do I do now again? I guess we go through the other door that was unlocked, right? Oh, lag fucked me up a bit. But it's good now. It's good. Alright, let's not use the directional buttons. It's kind of fucking me up a bit. God, it, it's actually quite hard to use these fucking buttons. I just realized. Or maybe I'm just sucking right now. It's just the directions when you're trying to run is just all fucked up. It's pretty difficult. Alright, let's run back through this way. You know what? To save time and effort, I'm going to trim out this hallway shit. See you guys in a second. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I'm going to keep this part in. I fucking... Oh, my God. I forgot about this shit. Let me go, please. Thank you. Man, that was some scurvy shit. Alright, out of those damn hallways. Oh yeah, we do have that unicorn medallion. Alright, yeah, that's what we're going to be using. Right here. Get a key. What key is that? I forget. But we'll find out. There it is. But which one is it? Oh, alright. It's a spade key. But just so it says, spade, check it. It's in the shape of a spade. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go put this red jewel up in a box.
here we go. Alright. How long have I been playing for? 37 minutes. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Guess I'll play for another 10 minutes or so. Or more, depending on what I feel like when the time comes. Oh yeah, there's a lot of fucking zombies here, aren't there? Guess it's time to break out this baby. You don't want none of this shit. Are you gonna get anywhere? Oh shit, that kind of sucks. I want to kill many at a time. That didn't really work like I wanted it to. Oh shit! Can't I can barely see these fuckers. Okay, fuck it, fuck it. I, I feel like I'm just wasting this. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. What, I only shot like four? Yeah, could have been worse. Um, here's an herb. Nice. Now I guess we can go check out what's over off in this direction first. Then we'll go into that middle place. 